Hello and welcome back to the next lesson in the course. With this lesson, I'm going to work on this eye made. All right, so let's get started. So as you can see in the reference, the angle of this is actually a little bit lower. I put it too angled, I angled it a little bit too high. It's actually like this. So I'm going to start by just lowering these lines, the lines of the top eyelid a little bit. And this is why it's useful to always be checking your angles. You can use uh, your charcoal pencil or ruler or a straight line that you can use. You can use that as your plumb line and also you can use it to check your angles. So I'm checking that my proportions are correct. All right, so we can bring, I think, this side of the eye a little bit further inward. And now we can add values. So for this eye, the values are going to be slightly lighter than over here because this eye is closest to the light. The light is falling from up here. So it's three quarter lighting. And this area here is gonna have more light than this area. So our values are going to be a lot lighter. So for this area, we're gonna start with the HB pencil and just putting in a light layer of tone. Then as we keep going, we're going to build up our values. So right here, it's very subtle, but you can see like this area here is the bottom plane of the top lid. All right, now that we have that set up, we can start working on the iris. Okay, so we have the highlight right here. And this curves inward a little bit more. And now we can put in a general tone. All right, and there we have our eye. So now it's just working a little bit on, on this eyebrow. And then we'll zoom out again and see if there's any other final adjustments to make. You'll see that with the eyebrow, I'm following the flow of the hair on it. So if the hair is flowing this way, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to follow the contour. All right, so that's it for this eye. So now our last step is to zoom back and take a look at the whole thing and see if there's any other adjustments to make. See if we can work on this area a little bit and also maybe push the lights here a little bit more. So here, it's, since it's also in the light mass, we're go just going to put a light tone with the HB pencil. This area right here is the keystone. And this is individual for every person and it's really helpful for uh, describing a likeness, achieving likeness. So since we're not really focusing on the nose for this lesson, I'm just going to leave it really suggested. But it's helpful to add it in so that way you can compare these tones with the tones of the eyes. And same thing over here. All right, so I think we can call it done. And that is how you draw the eyes with charcoal. Charcoal, graphite, color pencil, <laughs> anything that you might have handy. So 
so that's the end of this lesson. I hope that you not only learned a lot, but also enjoyed the lesson and the course in general. Thank you for watching and see you next time.